Town Air's transportation, private air transportation. We fly the smallest turboprop airplane to the largest Gulfstream 550. Anything a client wants to do, any destination, the company and I both have an obligation to provide a flight whenever they want the flight. I've been a pilot since I was 18 years old. I learned to fly at the very airport that I opened Talon Air at. So I bought an airplane in the year 2000. I said to myself, well, maybe I ought to make some income with this airplane rather than leave it sit around so much. Talon Air started, it didn't have an office, and we had first year sales of $25,000. Charter is difficult because the clientele for Charter is a narrow band of people. It's not enough to just look at the Charter market because the competition for the few clients is very fierce. I've spent endless thousands of hours trying to figure out what I could do, what I could offer. It occurred to me that charter clients who convert by one or two airplanes, I have clients with multiple airplanes, don't like to pay five, six figures a month to maintain that airplane just for the privilege of flying it when they want to. I've innovated this aspect of airplane ownership and no one else does it, which allows them to give me the airplane. I take care of all the bills. They fly it for uh, basically the price of gas and they're not otherwise responsible for the cost of maintenance. I take the risk. If I charter the airplane and I keep it moving, then I'm successful, I cover my costs. If I don't charter the airplane, it doesn't move, then I have to pay for it. And people love that. It actually didn't occur to me that Talon Air would be anything as big as it is. I don't know if I thought it would do one million in sales, let alone 60 million in sales, going on to 125 million dollars, which is about 124 million, 900 thousand dollars more than I ever imagined I might have.